Hello there and welcome. In this video today, I will show you how you can fix display problem on any mobile PCB. So I'm going to give you all the steps to troubleshoot and fix display, whether the phone is just showing white after you change the screen, showing black or glitching, or any type of display problem. So what I'm talking about right here is not backlight problem. I'm talking about display if the phone is having a problem with the graphics. You understand? So I'm going to give you all the steps that you need to go through when you are troubleshooting shooting that, that type of problem and I will show you how you can test to know the fault and how you can solve that so the first thing that I will want you to do I will want you to disconnect the battery so make sure that you disconnect the battery because you are going to you will have to perform a cold testing which is also called reverse testing in the mobile PCB and you don't have to connect the the battery in the phone when you are performing this testing so once you have done that you have to set your multimeter to boozer mode right here which is this boozer mode right here so if you are watching this and you don't understand a lot of things like all these modes that i'm talking about so make sure that you check more of my videos in this video description you understand so when you open the phone right here the first thing that you are going to do you are going to locate the display ic and if you don't know how to do that i have a couple of videos in which will show you how to identify all mobile phone ic so if you want to learn everything about mobile repairing in just a short time because i upload videos not frequently you want to learn all these basic pairing mobile skills to the advanced level of repairing and troubleshooting mobile phones problem then make sure that you send me a message using the number on the screen if you want to learn everything if you want to learn everything about troubleshooting mobile phone faults in just a short time i have a mobile repairing course in which if you join in just a short time you will understand how you can troubleshoot and fix a lot of problems so the display i see on any mobile pcb is quite easy to identify because in most cases it's beside the backlight ic so for this pcb we have the backlight ic right here and we have the display ic right here so in some phones it might not be around here but the display ic is always a glassy ic which is not a bigger ic so i want you to understand that this ic is the main display ic is the main graphic ic that enables the cpu to be able to display the graphics that you are seeing on the display you understand so once you have tests all this in in reverse mode as you have set your multimeter to boozer mode and test all this in reverse mode which means that your red probe needs to be on the gng then you use your black probe to test all these capacitors if no one is shorting or half shorting then make sure that you test this coil right here this coil is very important so if this coil is broken then one side of the display ic won't get its input voltage so if you test this coil side by side and it's beeping then that means that the coil is okay but if the coil is broken then you will need to change it you understand so once you have test that perform the coil testing and everything is working then there is no open circuit in this coil right here the second thing that you are going to do you are going to connect the battery to the phone you have to just connect the battery to the phone so these steps are very easy and when you connect the battery to the phone you will have to switch on the phone and make sure that the phone is on is uh, even though the screen is not showing just make sure that you know very well that the screen is so was supposed to be displaying at that time because there are some things that you will have to test here and the screen needs to be on before you can see all those inputs and the output so in some phones i want you to understand that in some phones the display ic gets its input voltage from the pmu which is the power man manager ic and in some phones it gets the input voltage from the charging ic so in this one it gets its input voltage from this power ic right here you understand and you get that input voltage you have to check that input voltage in the display coil right here and you will always see the display coil or you can call it an inductor so the voltage might be 3.3 volt to 6 volt depending on the power source and depending on the mobile pcb so you just make sure that you get a voltage right here at least from 3.3 volt upward so if you don't get a voltage in this coil right here that means that the display ic is not getting its input voltage and what you are going to do you are going to find the power source of this display ic which in this mobile pcb is this uh, power ic right here so if you find the power source you can use schematic to find that and you know the power source then you will have to reboot or change that power source so if it's this uh, power ic right here so i will have to change it but if it's the charging ic then i will have to change or reboot all of them so if you reboot and it does not work then you will have to change it so 
the input you get the input and you we have the output capacitors right here so just make sure that you have an input voltage and the output voltage in these other small components around the display IC and if you get the input and you don't get any output or maybe you just get one output one output voltage that wouldn't be enough because all these small components that you see it might be resistors or capacitors they need to have at least voltage in there you understand so if you change the display IC then you start getting the output voltage right here and still yet there is no display in the phone then what you are going to do you are going to reboil or change the CPU because there is one thing in which you need to understand this IC right here is not the the IC that is displaying all those things that you see on the screen right there the image is coming from the CPU so this IC right here it's like a gateway for the graphics you understand so if this IC is damaged then the display won't be able to show anything from the CPU and if the CPU is not giving any image on your display then your display won't show anything if this IC is okay so you can still get output voltage right here but yet the IC is still not well functioning so either you get or either you don't get always try changing it if you have a spare one you understand so once you have changed it and still no display like I said and you make sure that there is an input voltage right here then make sure that you change or reboil the CPU in case you, you check everything is okay right here and always take note to check the power source of this display IC because like I said it might be from the power IC or from the charging IC so if you are new to this channel make sure that you subscribe for more amazing videos